Hey everybody. Um, I had a lot of requests for this uh, the new Vista transformation package that's out. And what it does is takes your Windows XP and it transforms files and icons and, and uh, stuff like that. And actually makes your XP look and feel like Vista without actually running Vista. So you don't need as much memory and whatnot. You get a nice little sidebar and stuff like that. But I put all the links you need over here in the description. And there's one for Adobe Acrobat Reader if you don't have a grab it. Yeah. If you don't have Acrobat Reader. And there's a one for a zip program to unzip the file. And then there's the file the link for the to actually download the transformation pack. There's a lot of trucks out here today. And uh, there's the other one for the user manual. And I strongly recommend that you download and read the user manual before you try to install this. It's, um, once I walk, walk you through the video, you'll see how easy it is to install, but there's a few choices you need to make. Um, and the user manual will tell you about the different uh, third-party features that come with it, like the sidebar and, and other stuff, screensaver, cursors, and whatnot. Um, so I hope this answers your questions on the Vista transformation pack. And like any other program, if you don't like it, you can uninstall it easily. Just uh, when you uninstall this, sometimes you don't get the, the regular icons back from Windows and stuff like that, but it's, you know, it's minimal. Um, but this totally makes your XP look like Vista. I mean, it changes your, the way your documents look. Um, it's just, it's kind of nice. Changes the way it starts, shuts down, the whole shot. Um, changes the start menu that's over here. It's real nice. Um, I love it. I use it. I use it all the time and now that I install XP, I right away change it to do this transformation package on it. So it's real nice. Anyway, I hope you enjoy it and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, first thing, it's very important down in your system toolbar right click on applications and choose exit or close um, whatever comes up to remove the program from the start menu click exit right click exit if you've got Avast running you want to stop on access protection and if you've got uh, a different virus protection program I'm not sure how to tell you to stop it but the virus program could interfere with the uh, proper installation of this program. Uh, the other ones are internet um, and the volume. Of course, you don't want to exit out of those. But uh, any running programs that you can exit out of, go ahead and close those programs. Okay, after you've downloaded the file, remember where you saved it. I saved it in my documents, my videos. Um, it's going to look similar to this or it may look like a zip file depending on what you have installed. If you installed WinZip which is in the link, you right click on the icon, go to WinZip and extract to folder and it will give you a file name and, and location which is at this current location. And It's going to create a folder like this. You go into that folder, double click on the Vista transformation pack most times XP will come up with a security warning because it's an unknown publisher. Go ahead and click run. Leave this checked for your default home page and you can change it back later if you wish. Click next. You have to accept the license agreement. Click next again. Click next again. And you want to install in transformation pack into the Windows operating system. If you're doing an upgrade, that's what this one's for. Now if you have a normal square monitor, uh, I happen to have a widescreen monitor so I choose that and the size of the font is normal at 66 or 96 dpi. Click next. Now it's very important to click on classic mode because that's going to give us more options. Click next again and you want to perform a system file transforming. Click next again. 
Now you can choose uh, the customize the system uh, user interface, which is UE user interface, and go ahead and leave all the defaults checked, and you can change them later. Here again, leave all the defaults checked, and you can customize them later as you seem fit. These are the extras that come with it. Leave all the defaults checked for now. And you have to, the third party applications is the sidebar, the clock, all the other customizations that take place to make it look like Vista. Go ahead and leave all these checked and accept the third party applications. And you can customize these later as you see fit also. Click next. Save the current configuration in the setup information file for later use. And when you're ready, click on transform. Okay, you'll notice you have a sidebar now like Vista. Your welcome center will automatically open. If you don't want it to open anymore, you can click here, do not show this welcome screen. But I would continue to let this open until you get used to it. But the first time you're logging in, you want to configure user account and you want to turn on or off the different things that you want to use. Aero glass border is kind of nice. Apply current configuration. That'll open your display properties. I'm going to choose Arrow or Vista Basic. You hit Apply that'll change your skin. See how everything's different now. Okay and then it's going to ask you to restart the system to complete the transition. Once you've rebooted you'll see that it shows you your service pack that you're running, the Windows Edition, computer name, tells you what CPU you have, how much memory, the video adapter. Um, here it says the system file status is out of sync. So you want to click on repair system files. Do a light processing to repair only newly updated files, which are the files that were updated when we installed the transformation. And so make sure that's checked and click on perform repairing. This is just to make sure that it, it'll run nice and stable and fast for you. It won't slow you down. Okay, a nice feature that comes with this is the sidebar. If you click on the plus sign up here, it'll show you the other available uh, sidebar tools, all the different clocks, different gadgets, different skins you can use for your sidebar. Has an update feature for the sidebar if there's any updates. Takes you to the website where you can find other gadgets and sidebars. These buttons change the skins, previous skin, the next skin, help on the sidebar. And if you click on a certain gadget and right click on that gadget, it will give you other options for that gadget. This is your media player. You can build a playlist for this gadget. Got a calendar. You can move the gadgets around. If you don't want a gadget on there, right click on the gadget and click close. Like this for my battery, which I don't have a battery because I'm on a desktop. So I'm going to right click and close that. My recycle bin. This is kind of neat as your recycle bin gets fuller and fuller. This this will fill up like a waste basket. Read through the PDF files and it will take you to the different websites explaining all the different features. Let's open the PDF file. You scroll through this. This is the user guide. It's got links in there to show you the different third party softwares. Right click on your desktop, go to properties. You want to go to your appearance tab and choose the Vista Basic or the Vista Arrow to complete your, your change. Click apply and OK.